you was telling me before I came here that the security won't gonna let me on in a robe. I said, Smalls, I don't have regular clothes. Yeah. Well, I just remember being in a situation with you one time when we were, I think at, was it Rich Homie Kwan's? I can't remember. Was it yeah, Rich we Homie was at Kwan's? Rich Homie Kwan's release party. Okay, yeah. And they wouldn't let you in because you had a robe. Oh, I, I still ended up getting in. That was just that security. Usually how that goes when I go to an event and uh, one security tells me that I can't wear a robe, I end up pulling half the party out with me. They want to take photos and Maybe another security part um, that's at the event says, what's up, Harvey? Like, let me grab a um, photo, send it to my son or something. My son watches your videos. And I'd be like, hey, man, your coworker's over there being a dick. He doesn't approve of my religious attire. And then, you know, they usually bring me in. But yeah, I remember that, bro. I, I, got in, I, I ended up getting into that event. I usually just laugh at folks when they try to, you know, deny me entry into places because I know that even though we're in this current day and age, 2020, people don't understand freedom and individuality. They don't understand that. Well, also certain establishments have dress codes. Yeah, but no, nobody's dress code indicates that you can't wear a bathrobe, nobody's. You can, you can show me the dress code. It does not say specifically nothing about robes. Well, I think uh, certain venues, like clubs and nightclubs, I think it's up to the person's discretion I think oh, they yeah, say, yeah, yeah. you know, if they have a dress code, some maybe may right, right, right. It's code, up to the discretion of the security, but right? Like, but I think like it's like in the fine print, they'll say, okay, no baseball caps, no mm -hmm. jerseys, no white tees, no white tees, and this yeah. is for certain establishments. They'll mm -hmm. say that, and then they may say, like in the fine print, we up, get to choose, we get to tell you we don't like your fit, exactly, and, that, and that's what it was, and it was just like he, he said he ain't like my fit, but you know, the girl he was trying to talk to. As she was going in, groping her, looking up all up and down, good to see you and all that. She was choosing, like, taking selfies with me and shit right before he did that. So it's like, ultimately, I don't really care what people think about it. I myself, I don't do it for the approval of security at some hole in the wall nightclub. But, you know, I also understand that establishments do have uh, security. They don't like it. Um, but that's cool. I, I go to the airport in my bathrobe. I go everywhere. I mean, I, I was at Miami airport and I took pictures with at least 10 TSA workers at the airport with my robe on. And they, they was asking me if I had Hennessy in my bag. I did. But, you know, they let me on through. Is there any place you have been denied that you could not get through because of the bathroom? I've had people put up a fuss about it, but I can't say there's been anywhere. I've been in Live. I've been to the White House. I've been Coachella. No band. You know what I mean? Just. What about maybe like a restaurant like a Ruth Chris or? Uh... Oh, yeah. I went to Ruth Chris. I had my robe on. The waitress loved it. Tipped the good.